Just as asked a very good question, a very logical question. What about those human beings who are born in non-Muslim families and the parents are doing idol worship, so who's to blame? How can Allah punish them? And that's a very good question. That is the reason our beloved Prophet Muhammad said that every child is born in Deen al-Fitr, every child is born as a Muslim. Irrespective whether he is born in a Jewish family or a Christian family or a Hindu family or a Muslim family, he is born as a Muslim. Muslim, as I told earlier, by definition means a person who submits his will to Almighty God. So every child when he's born, he submits his will to Almighty God. Later on, he is influenced by his elders, by his parents, by his teachers. Then he may start doing idol worship, he may start doing fire worship, and he may go to the wrong path. That's the reason whenever a non-Muslim accepts Islam, the more appropriate word is revert. It's not convert. Convert means going from one faith to another faith. Revert means a person was on the right faith, went to a wrong faith and came back to the right faith. So the more appropriate word, sister, is revert. Now coming to your question, how can Allah hold responsible a person if he is born in a non-Muslim family? That is the reason if a child is born in a non-Muslim family, before he gains maturity, if he dies, he will go to Jannah, inshallah. Why? Every child submits will to Almighty God. He is a Muslim. He may have a Hindu name or a Christian name, John, Ramu, it doesn't make a difference. But as long as he is a child, and if he dies as a child sister, that child will go to Jannah, irrespective of whether he is born in a Muslim family or non-Muslim family. Later on when I... Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. In this video, we will speak about something really important. You know, that always, uh, uh, you know, there's debates, and I maybe you saw a lot of my debates with Muslims, and I never, I never, you know, find a Muslim he can give an answer. It doesn't matter, even the, the like the one who came to be smart. You know, it doesn't matter how smart you are, you cannot defend something stupid. As simple as that. This is why they always have no answers. And this is why the Quran in chapter 5, verse number 101 says, Ask not questions, for things look ugly for you in the Quran. Now, in, in, in front of us, there is something enough for anyone to understand that Islam is a false religion. Not only false, it's stupid. Let me, let me share with you this. This is first a Muslim website. Don't tell me this is a Christian website. Searchtruth.com, a Muslim website. This is Muslim translation. This is the book of Sahih Muslim, which means it's a correct hadith. And this is uh, the book number 33, hadith number 6436, as you see in the screen. And this is your Muslim translation, not my translation. So not even a word is my own name. And actually, if we read in Arabic, it's very funny, even more than this. But I will go with their translation. In here, we will see a story that Aisha, the mother of the believers, and by the way, she is called the mother of the believer, not because of a form of respect, absolutely not but because Muhammad was a very jealous man, he told the Muslims that those are your mothers, so she, they cannot have sex with them after he died. As you know, Aisha, she was 18 when Muhammad passed away. Actually, he was killed. So, uh, uh, Muhammad, he wanted to be sure, because of his jealousy, this man, he had a mental problem, even when he is dead, his women, nobody would sleep with them. So he told the Muslims, and he ordered them, to accept them as a mothers. So this is not a form of respect, really. It's a form of jealousy to be sure that nobody is going to have any of his wives. Now, not our topic, but just to share some information with you. Aisha, she said to Muhammad, after attending a funeral of a child, as we see in the screen, uh, Al-Ansar are supposedly you know, a group of people, they are called Al-Ansar. I said, Allah Messenger, there is happiness for this child who is a bird from the birds of paradise. Actually, I like what Aisha she said. It sounds like at this time she was still a human being. Because Aisha, later she killed thousands of human beings. She was a criminal herself. And here, Aisha, she is saying that this child who died, and look what she is saying to continue. I don't want to cut off what she said. She said, that there is a happiness for this child who is a bird from paradise, uh, 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 from bird of paradise, for it uh, it committed no sin nor 
has he reached, reached the age when one can commit sin. Uh, this is a beautiful thing, actually. I, I have no problem with it, and I agree with it. That a child who die, he will go to heaven. And actually, he is lucky. Now, because he did not reach the point where he started doing his mischief in, in this earth, as we do. Now, look what happened here. Muhammad did not like what Aisha she said. He is giving her now the correction, the correct answer. He said, Aisha, free adventure. It may be otherwise, because God created for paradise those who fit for it while they were yet in their father loins, and created for hell those who are to go to hell. Listen carefully. He created them for hell while they were yet in their father loins. This is extremely dangerous. Someone will say, well, I understand what you are trying to say, that Muhammad is saying that a child, he is, uh, 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 like there is a decision for him to go to heaven or to hell, even before he was born, as you see in here. Even when he was in his father's loins. So, Allah, he made a decision for the child where he is going to be, even before he was born, and that decision will not change. Which means, regardless of the sin you do or you don't, regardless of the age, regardless when you die, it's already pre-made decision for you where you will be, even when you are yet in their father lungs. This is extremely, extremely stupid thing to say. And now I'll explain to you why. Now, let us say we have uh, uh, someone, he is a Christian, a Christian man. You know, this Christian man, um, he wants to uh, convert to Islam. You know, a Muslim, uh, he uh, started lying to him, saying to him, Allah will give you 72 horny women, uh, uh, their butt will be one mile size, as we see in Muslim Ahmad. Uh, their boobs will be uh, extremely big, you know, and this guy, he could not resist this, so he can decide to convert to Islam. Okay. But according to this, <laughs> regardless if you convert or not, it's a pre-made decision for you when you were in your father loins to go to heaven or to hell. Correct? Which means the whole idea of conversion is a stupid idea. Because you convert, you do not convert. It's already a pre-made decision. And this is not a changeable. You, you, uh, Allah is not going to change. There is no update. Here we go. The child, he died. He did not do any sin yet. It is Allah who decides if he will go to heaven or to hell. And remember, this child is a Muslim child. This child is a Muslim child. Those Al-Ansar are Muslim people. And Muhammad turned her, no, that is a child, not necessarily he will go to heaven, because Allah, he made a decision, pre-made decision, before they are yet in their father loins, to be in heaven or to, in hell. And then, you know, base or due to that decision, which pre-made, already Allah, he did, he will go either to heaven or to hell. So here, I mean, uh, what we understand from this, if I convert or not, will not change anything. This is number one. Number two, let us say a Muslim, he is praying to Allah. Every day, this Muslim, he pray. He bow down, he bend over, he face the Kaaba, he pray to Allah, he do all and everything Allah he asked for, in every direction Allah he asked. Well, according to this hadith, it doesn't matter really. Because it's pre-made for you. You pray or you don't. You, you kill the Christian and the Jewish for the sake of Allah or not. Still, it's pre-made for you. Decision. Before you were born. When you are in your father's loins. To be a person going to heaven or to hell. Which means there is no reason for the whole idea of believing or Islam. Because here we go. It's pre-made decision. You see how stupid this religion is? 
it's already pre-made. I will go there or I will not go there. It's not my choice. It's not me converting, praying, doing good, doing bad. Before even I was born, when even not, in, not even born, before even I am in my, in my mother womb, I am not even in, his, in my father's loins, and still Allah making decision for me already. It's just a stupid religion. And you, if you are a fool, this is the best religion fit for you. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. Anyway, see you soon.